Hey everybody, good morning from Bali. Um, welcome to the video. Now, I just want to say, here's a lovely song. And I just want to make this video now about... I got a message this morning, somebody say, a lovely friend on, on YouTube saying, oh, and sometimes I find it really tiring and exhausting to be just fighting all the evil in the world. Sometimes I think the best way or the only way to get rid of this evilness is to just kill the people. You know, just like, that's the only way you can do it. And uh, how, 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 how do you, like, is it best just not to feed the, the uh, these thoughts of fighting against everything, it's very exhausting. And I just said, yeah, of course, what, 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 we, what we resist, we persist. This isn't what I said. But what we, when we fight against things, we waste lots of energy. Fighting never works. What we want to do is partially understand why, okay, understand why things are happening. So from the so from the biggest perspective possible, why? So I've made this in other videos like why it's because like dark exists to to show us that we don't like dark and to play the game of physical manifestation of the spirit the spirit world. The spirit life is the real life. The physical life is just the, the temporary, over in a second um, life. That seems real, but it's not really. It's like some people call it a hologram, an illusion, etc. So it's a learning process. So what I said was, that music's lovely. But um, what I said was, yeah, of course, don't fight it. Don't fight anything. See what you don't like. See what you don't like, but don't dwell on it. Don't focus on it. Focus on what you love like love and peace, compassion, light. See all the loveliness in the world. Focus on the loveliness in the world. See all the beauty in nature and in the expression of the God, source, universe. Think of the kind acts that you've seen lately, or the compassion or the love coming from others or even from within you. Dwell and feel the feeling of all of these things by putting your attention on them. Of course, you still know the things that you don't want to be or that you don't like, the evil is still there, but you don't waste your time thinking about it needlessly. But what you can do is you can do what you can do to help. There's so many things you can do to help anything, and one way is to be consistently your highest self of love and light, and peace and compassion, etc. And of course, you can, don't, you can share your wealth or resources or money with people who are doing help to fight the evil or to raise the vibration and consciousness of the people, the planet. Or you can send money you can send money to poor people, countries, whatever you want. And um, you could write a book, you could just 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 anything you do that's kind never goes to waste. We're all connected. So any lovely thing you do always helps everybody. So if I start focusing and start enjoying yourself in life basically. What do you love to do? What are you passionate about? What are you excited about? What are you enthusiastic about? So start just to focus on what you love, what you want to be in life, and who you want to be, what you want to be, and what you want to do. So do follow your passions, your joy, your excitement, your enthusiasm, and then you're going to be so much happy in life, and focus on them, and in your meantime, do what you can do on the little side notes to, to change what you can do. If that means picking up litter or doing a note of kindness to somebody or writing a letter to the government, whatever you want, so be it. So that's all I wanted to say. That's all I need to say in the video. I think it's reasonably clear. Um, on a side note, with people in relationships, um, if, if, you're, if you feel you're fighting and struggling against someone in a relationship, the most important thing to do is stop thinking about you just for a second. You can think about you later, like for the rest of the day if you want. But just take a few breaks of thinking about you and start stepping into their shoes and think about them and care for their experience. Know that they're alive right now and they're probably suffering if, if they're very, if they're very, if you think that you're not troublesome in their life, which you probably could be. So investigate yourself, see if you can become pure or like an angel of love and light. But if they're not of love and light, they're probably suffering. So care for their experience and well-being 
and try and understand them and what it's like to, to be them and to have their thoughts. So it's suffering and it's saddish suffering. So when you understand things, everything becomes a lot easier and try and have a bigger perspective, okay? Okay, well, thank you very much for watching and I hope this helped and leave us a comment if you feel it helped and feel welcome to share for others and to subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you again in another video and also welcome to check out the description below for, I hear the birds. There's the Bali sky. Check out my playlists below um, or on my channel wall for like lots of stuff about commu people communication and empowered relationships, emotions and healing from past pain, and mu beautiful music playlist of 170 songs I made. This is the, this is the playlist right here. It's music to raise your vibration, feel good and dispel negativity and it's definitely raise the vibrations of your surroundings and dispel negativity and help you to feel good, like it says. Okay, well, much love and blessings and light to you today and I hope you have abundance and health and most importantly always be very kind and gentle and soft on yourself, be loving and gentle and understanding on yourself. So everything's a process, it's all a process here so just be gentle on yourself. Okay, bye, see ya. Breakfast, a lot of bananas. Small breakfast because they're small bananas. Bye.